Maddie off stage. Uh, we've seen Tweak and Aaron really like pull, pluck the banana backwards, use double jump Z grab into the barrels. But if you go for that against Sheik, it's pretty dangerous. Yeah, it's a high price to pay just to get access to your banana off stage. So right. hopefully Aaron knows that and he'll only go for the pluck into catch off stage if he knows Void can't get in position in time. Yeah, yeah. And both these players, obviously, they played Smash 4, so they, they definitely have familiarity with the base character, but not yeah. too sure how much they've played this matchup, say, in Ultimate, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely some key differences. I'd say most notably on Sheik's end. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, Boy, just throwing the banana there. No Z-catch aerial, or Z-drop aerial there. Ooh. Okay, a little kind of scramble. No one going for a big opening, except here comes Aaron. Oh, wow. All right, 70 damage off the bat here. We're going to see those Z-drop recatch aerials. That is core to the Diddy Kong metagame, especially in 2021. If you're not doing that, you're doing something wrong. And I like how Aaron is not, like, over-aggressive here. He takes the opportunity to put Void at the corner, pl plucks a banana, and then says, all right, get up. Come to me. Right. Well, Aaron looks like he sniffed out that roll, but Void going to get away with it. She's Ooh. still pretty decent frame dead on that forward roll. I love that Void punishes people for trying to skip interactions, right? Aaron is consistently trying to monkey flip in. He's trying to skip this whole earning stage oh. bit. And Ooh. Void is saying, no, 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 you got to take every pitch. Like, you really got to earn every single opportunity. Yeah, oh. Aaron was on fire at the beginning, but once it was Void's turn, he went off. Yeah, hold this ledge trap or die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like there's just so many uh, accounts I've seen this boy. He'll just get overwhelmed at the start, but he's just so good at staying poised and then just let yeah. the openings come to him. Like, uh, it's kind of like we were just saying, Coney. Like, yeah, Aaron's like, okay, I know I don't need to push my advantage here. I got my damage. I can dip out. But really, for you, you're just kind of letting Void get the reset, too, and he can take full advantage of that. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we see the percentage on Void now. Sheik is very, very light, but remember, mobility is king. Uh, sometimes sheer mobility can have you, like, just survive longer stocks, right? You're yeah. able to maneuver around your opponent's kill options. Oh, Void reaching a little hard for the edge guard there. He manages to get back. Oh, my goodness, nice. And look at the precision that took to keep Aaron on the stage, right? Because yeah. it would have been very easy for him to fall off on the right, and then he would have had to up B. But no, Boyd was able to get the down smash attack on even more damage. Oh, up oh, smash will do it. Lord, Two out stocks out to one. Where did this Boyd come from? Drip, drip. It's the raindrop that set up Boyd is the one who started pushing that. Not discovered it, but really pushing that in the meadow. If you're able to set up and combo in the Sheik's tipper up smash, that move is oh, ridiculously God. strong. And look at this damage racking up. Beer he's putting in Aaron. Dude, where did this Void come from? Serious, like, I, he wasn't really around that much for a while playing Ultimate. Like, he got voted in. It was like, I, you know, we thought he would do well, but this well? He's been grinding. Oh, Leah Charles yeah. can attest to this. We live with him. He's been grinding for, like, the last two months. Jesus. Like, right? like, he's yeah. been in the lab. He's been serious. He's been, he's have, been having people over to practice. Like, he, he took this very seriously. Yeah. A practice Void is a scary Void. Yeah. And I'm yes. glad he found the motivation, too. I'm sure after, like, Pichu nerfs and all that stuff, might have just slightly thrown him off the ultimate track for a bit. But now that he's back to his original love oh, of Sheik, no God, way. man, you could see the results in action. There you go, man. Good Damn. lord. Tipper up smash. Get it raw, get it off the combo. Void is hitting the mark here. And yeah, the way I described Void in the last couple months in terms of practice, I was like, wow, we got Smash 4 Void up in here practicing. Mm, like, yeah. Void was hungry in Smash 4. And it's it's always like a teeter battle kind of deal, right? Yep, Especially yep. if you're a player nowadays, because, you know, do you do content? Do you focus on tournament, right? Sure, there, there's yeah. always that internal battle nowadays. Yep. So obviously a much different time back in Smash 4. But yeah, Void took this tournament particularly extremely seriously. Like we, I haven't grinded with Void for like six to eight hours in a long, long time, and we 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 were hitting those grind sessions. Yes, I was like, dang, we, we're grinding. Absolutely. Hey man, when your fans drop a ton of money to get you in, you gotta deliver. And Void doing yeah. just that, not just gonna half ass it here at this tournament. So not at all. Void puts is, himself. He is very, very polished coming into this event. As is Aaron though too. I don't want to uh, sleep on Aaron here. He's been doing some fantastic things throughout this tournament, uh, including like a day one win on Tweak. Like yeah. <laughs> well, three owing Tweak. Yeah, I mean, Excuse there you go. You. <laughs> yeah, pretty dominant 3-0 too. It wasn't just like yeah. last hit games. He kind of mopped the floor of them. Lost today to yep, the Wolf, but the run back, yep. you know. Aaron is uh, picking a lot of PS2. We saw this in the last set, and he went back here again. Uh, don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, but let's not forget he ate two drag down into up smashes. I mean, the raindrop setup, like you were talking. Uh, yeah. The second one, not as much, because he did monkey flip into it. Right, but right. still, I mean, those platforms are dangerous. 
Yeah, an another thing to note as well, um, speaking of comboing into up smash, or just getting up smash in general, you gotta watch the dare. Void loves to use that dare as a like parry mix-up timing, and you can combo the landing dare into up smash. So just another thing Aaron has to watch out for here. Trying to get that snipe, the needles, and great recovery coming out from Aaron. Up and over, but oh, oh barely limits, dude. Great DI, though, from Aaron, knowing to go in right there. It can be a little bit tricky to DI some vertical moves in this game, just because you never know. Do I go left? Do I go right? Mm, yeah, yeah. And she can, like, she has that air mobility, too, even for things like up air and things like that, right? To yeah. get that cross-up. It, it, there's so many little ambiguous things with these two characters when it comes to, like, DI cross-ups and stuff like that. I think that's why it's so fun for me to watch, at least. I really like both of them, for sure. But, like, I, I don't know, man. I was a big sheet doubter, but Boyd has certainly changed my mind this weekend. Oh, if yeah. you're a master of the kill setups, this character can still be really dangerous. Oh, absolutely. She can't kill is a meme. Or I, it's like it's like she can't kill, but Void she can is kind of yeah. like the is, is what's going on. Oh, my oh, God. What an yeah. answer to the flip. monkey this. flip. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've never seen that. Place. That was just creativity at its finest. Yeah. Like. And it's one of those things that, like, even if you don't know if he's going to monkey flip, maybe it'll just put you in a better spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Might as well pop it. Maybe he rolls in because he's been doing a lot of rolling yep. in. It covers a lot of stuff on Aaron. Yeah, and maybe he'll just botch the punish too. Yep. Why not? Risk worth taking once in a while at least. Risk reward, all reward for Void up a stock. A huge thing to note too is uh, in Smash 4, Sheik was uh, not too known for having rage combos, but in Ultimate, Sheik has insane rage combos. And we see it right here, those nares setting up into the tech chase scenario. Look at this. Facing, bro. Yeah, Void was telling us yesterday that rage actually helps Sheik <laughs> in this Just game. Get the God ball is that? Me, bro. Yeah, yeah, get off me, dude. Leave me alone. Normal get up into up smash. Shut up. Hello, I have I have the fastest up smash in the game. Yeah, frame five, man, and a pretty generous hitbox in front of him and above him. Yeah, and behind him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everywhere. Ooh, Whoa. wait a minute. There's still a jump here. Okay. Smart yeah. by Void just not going to go off stage and challenge that. Yeah, I was actually going to point that out. Void is uh, very feisty off stage, but he has so much discipline in this uh, in this set, and you know, we're just really proud of him the the way he's handling everything. Yeah. Aaron fights his way back with Monkey wow. Flip Kick while facing the wrong way for the down smash to kill, but it hits, and that's good nonetheless. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Wow. Yeah, that also confirms the bouncing fish as well. The angle's a little altered in this game. So, Void, oh, no up smash. Too high percent for sure. Tried to get the uh, hard back here, but man, Aaron is surviving for so long. Can we point that Damn. out? 180%. She can't kill, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, this is she can't kill territory. Yeah, when I see this, all I think is, man, Sheik is about to die first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. You do kind of get that feeling. Well, the setups are gone. This is so. This is a great position here for Aaron because Void has to just land a, you know, just a jab, jab into something. That jab, jab, dash attack will probably do the trick here. That's probably what he'll fish for. Um, the banana, or try to get at the up air. The up tilt, not enough. But man, Aaron is lock and loaded with this rage. Oh, 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 dash wow. attack, yep, yeah. yep. Dash attack will do it. Such a good tool against Diddy, too. Just a burst option that, you know, infiltrates his space. Oh, wait a minute. Rage combos? Oh, I love the DI from Aaron. Only 31% here. Mm, I like that bounce, but just get away. Reset the situation. I feel like for Aaron, though, this is so frustrating because how do you even approach how this is going? You're getting these weird up smashes from Void jumping, from Void just not shielding, not respecting you, but like just trying to get in on this character seat. Like you got 14 there. Congratulations, you know? Yeah. She's getting way more off, way less. Okay, there's the monkey flip, and I, I feel like maybe Diddy has to commit a little harder here. Maybe yeah. throw the banana a little bit more. Who tried to cash out with the up smash, but honestly, Aaron is still keeping it really close on this last stock, even though it feels like Void has kind of had controlled the pace this entire game. That was a crazy break. Oh, he grab. caught wow. the down air. Oh, another down air. Oh, man. I uh, love that banana to lock him in. Yes, yeah. Either Either he drops shield and gets hit, or he keeps shielding, you get banana faster. Oh, hold up, Void on the chase. Directional air dodge to avoid the platform. Aaron has, wants nothing to do with that platform. Any drag down setup, you're just gonna get obliterated. I mean, Boyd. you guys were talking about comparative percents. When I see these percents, I worry about Diddy. Mm. Right, right. Yeah, Sheik is definitely a character where in very specific percents, she's extremely strong outside of that. Up uh, smash That's is gonna it. do it. Oh. Well done by Aaron. Good stuff. The down tilt into the up smash. So he's gonna take a Whew. game. Sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Getting moist up in here. Understandable, dude. <laughs> yeah, Diddy just has a plethora of ways to confirm into kills, right? Sheik, you gotta get some really niche shit like drag down, up air. Right. 
down air close to the ground like that. You know, it's it's pretty unlikely that it'll happen. Soft nair to bouncing fish, whatever. Mm -hmm. Diddy has a banana that trips you into whatever he wants. A down tilt that pops you up into whatever he wants. Yeah. An out of shield up smash that's faster than any other one in the game. Like, I think when it comes to securing stocks, Diddy is just fine. Yeah. Right. At, especially at that hyper late percent, you know, like that, that 110 to 170 ish or whatnot. Diddy, you know, banana trips the same percent no matter if you're 999 or zero right yeah. yeah whereas Sheik it gets very different once you get out of those confirm ranges you know that 100 to like 120 130 it gets a the game gets a lot different for Sheik you still have crazy broken neutral but it, it's it the power shift is crazy it's like marthritis yeah there you go so finally we get somebody utilizing their uh, advantage of a counter pick and this is actually a stage I don't think I've seen all weekend yeah, Void is uh, not a fan of slants, but he knows how to abuse them. So uh, definitely going to bring it here to Yoshi's. Uh, also, we've seen that Void likes the platforms. A lot yeah. of drag awesome. down stuff onto Absolutely. the platforms. Uh, so this is really great. If You can also just uh, set up drag down things into uh, forward smash, down smash with the smaller blast zones here at Yoshi's. It's going to help a lot. Is this actually the first appearance of Yoshi's story? Because I am I think you're right, I Tony. haven't seen it at all. I, I don't know about you guys, but... I can't recall a real one. I saw oh, the portal. Oh, right. yeah. Mars, uh, yeah. Mars Meister had a game here. Gotcha. Oh, okay. yeah, Falcon, the, yeah. the troll game, yeah. That yeah. didn't count. I was going to say, I kind of raised that from my memory, count. too. That <laughs> might as well be Portal Smash. <laughs> nah, I'm counting the portals one. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Nonetheless, uh... Boy, very comfortable on this stage for obviously all the reasons you highlighted, uh, Korean. Is this something, like, he's been practicing on oh, as well? Because, I mean, I saw you guys like talking about some stages like that too. Uh, I mean, I, I think this is a good Sheik stage. I also think this is a fantastic Diddy stage. Void mm. is definitely taking the double-edged sword approach here. Diddy does have that wall, to, so he can wall clean. There he goes. Yeah, and the bouncy fish not gonna connect. So, and, and Diddy can also abuse slants. Both these characters have great crawls and down tilts. Yeah. So it, when you're cornering them, it's a way different ball game. Whoa, okay. the auto-correct on that knockback? Hey, I thought he was going right. Wait, okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. He might have been holding left because he thought he was going right. I, Who knows? I held left 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, same. I think just so many moves in ultimate, they automatically send you the way that the character's facing, right? Yeah. Like, Pichu was the biggest one. Yeah. That Pichu down smash when uh, you know, oh, yep, he yep, was yep. still in the game. Talk to him. 120 now. Up oh, smash. Great. That'll do oh, it. Nice, Aaron. Not going to let Void build any kind of lead. What an evenly matched set, man. It one, really one, is. Two stock, two stock. These guys are just giving it their all both ways. Yeah, really fun to watch. And even bringing out the spot dodge. Uh, you know, spot dodge definitely can kind of be a meme in this game, but you do what you got to do. It's a strong option, right? Aaron abusing that spot dodge gets the down tilt, especially at low rage, was able to get the down tilt into the up smash. Now, Void trying to get this combo string. Keep it going, but only gets that 50. But Aaron fighting back as well, just tic tac each other with some percent here. One of the things that makes Sheik so volatile isn't just her lack of kill power, it's also her weight, man. This character yes, disappears yes. when she gets hit. Did he. Uh, ton of ways to set up for the kill moves, as oh, we were Lord. talking about. But hold up. If Void could keep this advantage state going, keep winning the neutral at the rate he has been, that he's Nair? in yes. a good position. Catch that Nair oh, overshoots it. Yeah, ended up on stage riding right. the slants. He did refresh his jump, though, so he's going to make it back. 116 uses Monkey Flip again. He's going to earn back the stage. Uses it twice. Again. Oh, oh dang. Okay. I'm trying to take the kill here. I'm playing. Let me get that real quick. Okay, Boy gets the bear. Um, I think you can get Bouncy Fish there, but he's just going to opt for the needles there. A little bit safer. Tries to go for the banana throw. Still not it, but the crouch from the down tilt and the slants. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, stage and dividends on that exchange. Slants are cool, everyone. <laughs> Let's keep Lila at legal. Not legal here, though. Let's go. <laughs> That's eight. I'll refrain from comment. I was leaving it open for you. That's like your deal, right? I was 100% trolling, brand. by the way. Get, get, get Lilat out. Yeah, no, I, I know, I know. Okay, here's the whiff punish, though. Void waits oh. for the swing there. Oh. Wow, oh. Void on fire right now. Yeah, he is eating him alive, this stock. Uh oh Taking heavy damage. Yeah, Aaron is the mad grenade? Bear, Aaron is... He's trying to appear big. You know what I mean? He's like, right, he's like, right. please be afraid of me. Yeah, please, yeah. for the love of God, leave then, me alone. Since someone and then someone deflated all the air. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, oh wait a minute. <laughs> Edge guard situation though. What's he got? Banana in hand, but boy, tech the first angel drop down oh. air, right? Yep. 
I mean, maybe that's another reason why Void Ooh. likes the stage. You can't really get cheese. Nice. Uh, that's like that's really that just so Aaron just saying, funny. just please work. I, I swear, <laughs> he's just saying, please work. I feel like that's what he just keeps doing. Is like he's just in a position, he's just popping up smash, and it's just it works out. Right. No, I mean, as someone who grinds against Void, you have to do that against him. You can't <laughs> let him just like hover around you and like do these fairs. The, you, sometimes you have to earn the respect by just being like, hey, I will rip this up smash. Right. Yeah, I'm not scared to yeah, do it. Yeah, he kind of plays like a net. You ever have one of those yeah. nets that's like in your eyes and it like, if you were over here, I wouldn't care, but you have to be right in front of my face. Leave me alone, dude. Yeah, it's, you know? it's like mad annoying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh right there it is. Yes. All right. Yeah. That's the setup right there off the tipper down tilt you want. So the up close down tilt, we send you at more of a 45 degree, but if you get the tipper down tilt, you can go into any drag down setup. So right there, we have the platforms as well. So Void can utilize yeah. that, go into the down smash. Even some percentage, depending on the amount of rage you have, you can go into forward smash, but the safe bet is always to go for that down smash. It's a little bit quicker than the forward smash. Sheesh. One so thing. Potentially one more game here. Yeah, something that I think comes into play a lot in this matchup is Sheik's safety on shield. Diddy Kong has that privilege of just being able to throw the banana at pretty much any move he wants, but yeah. Sheik's aerials are all fast enough that they end right before that happens. We That's saw, a really good point, yeah. Yeah, we saw Aaron try to throw it at, on the landing lag of a Nair, but Void actually just jumped right after. He was already airborne, still got hit by the banana, but Aaron autopiloted for the grab after, instead got forward tilted, and that caused a whole bunch of damage that resulted in that game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you thought... If you thought Fair was safe in other iterations of Smash, I mean, Ultimate Man, Sheik Fair, she can do it point blank and go into a spot dodge if you try to shield grab just because <laughs> of, you know, just ultimate things. So uh, it's uh, it's interesting because now she can kind of be a little bit more aggressive at different ranges in Ultimate. So definitely adds a whole other dynamic. Also, just Needles being better. She can really play this safe, campy style in a way that Probably wasn't as rewarding in Smash 4, oh, sure. yeah. but now it's definitely gone to another level. And also, it's a little more necessary. I love the drag down combos too. Yeah, I, like, same. I think I think one oh, thing that yeah. you know really keeps Void on this character is the way she combos. And he he tells me a lot that he actually enjoys playing Ultimate Sheik more than Smash 4 Sheik because the combos wow. are a lot more creative. You know? Yeah, in Smash 4 it was kind of just automatic. Right, right. Like he still did cool stuff, but like you can get mad creative in Ultimate with the the combo strings you can do. Yep, yep. And Void loves his glass cannon or pixie like characters, right? He plays Sheik in this game, plays Chip in Guilty Gear. Yeah, yeah. You're melting, but you're mixing people up the whole time. Yeah, Void plays the life of I'm I'm playing the character that turns that's a glass cannon and turns you into a glass cannon. Like yep. let's go. <laughs> yep. There's the forward tilt trying to carry Aaron across the stage. Aaron keeps getting out, but then he gets pulled right back in. Good air dodge through the needles there. And again, Aaron trying to get off oh, this ledge for the love of God. Let him back. Yeah, just the, uh, just the snipe. Boy, oh, but he so saved good, his jump. Bro. Well done saving his jump. Oh, Doesn't oh. matter. Don't hang Doesn't on there matter. too long, bro. Wow, he just completely locked that right side down. Aaron had no chance. No. My God. <laughs> he was just, just the Nair initially <laughs> to interrupt the monkey flip attempt. I mean, what the hell do you do? Yeah, and Void has been kind of saving that, uh, you know, the ledge hang punish. He, he And just using it right when it's going to get the KO, the tipper down tilt into the up smash. That actually works only when you're on the ledge. Or not only, but it it's a kill confirm on the ledge because you hit them so low, right? They're hanging on the ledge. They're kind of like below the stage, quote unquote, right? So, Yeah, holding your cards in your hand until the moment of truth is such an important and underrated skill of tournament play. Actually, yeah. 100%, yeah. bro. That's when you get into, like, the, the juicy stuff, like the crazy layers. Yeah. Uh, you know, multi-game conditioning, even multi-set conditioning yep. with grands yep. and all that stuff. It's crazy. You got to learn how they learn. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, 81, Aaron, is, I think he needs oh, to get this oh. banana out, but he's not even going to get the opportunity. He's, Void, not even at 100. He said, stop and you go. God dang. Remember, Void, she can kill. Aaron, yeah. Remember Aaron, that. Aaron's getting too aggressive. He's not even pulling out banana anymore. He's just, he wants the stock yeah, off he so bad. Finally. Oh, wait a minute. This oh, banana scramble. Out of shield. That was nice. And yeah. try to get the up. Aaron needs one of these up smashes. Oh, oh my. Wow. Oh, no. And not one of those yeah, up smashes, Yeah, maybe though. the one that works. <laughs> oh, oh no. he's, he's forcing it now. Yeah. Yeah, he's forcing yeah. it. Void working on a three stock here. Not something you see often from Sheik. This is a character who can just get chipped out very easily. But you know what? <laughs> yeah. It's not happening here while the up smash dodge, though. Oh, the my. damage. OK, OK. No three stock. Enough, enough. Uh, double down air maybe? Two stocks? I don't know. Something, something Z drop down air? Yeah, <laughs> question mark. The, the old tried and true. We're going to need a highlight video. That's what we're going to need. 
Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, Come on out. <laughs> left hobble. Get him out of that gym. Come on out, brother. That's a left hobble right there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sheik just wants to come out and play, but uh, Diddy getting around that platform, the up wow. tilt after the parry void, still with the pressure. Tech chase? Okay. Nah. We've, we've, seen been people, we've been seeing people roll in all weekend. All right, Aaron's got rage, at least. Oh, he's good. Oh, tried to get the reverse knight, but actually Void with the fake out. Aaron going to get back on the ledge, and I love how Void not... Going for anything crazy, he knows he's at 150%. Even if you're just chipping damage and yeah. getting a dash attack, you can play it real safe at this point. You're up two stocks. No reason what to you rush do anything. here, I think here you just go for damage. Oh, or unless vanish. that ha yeah, gets the vanish. I was going to say, if you have two stocks to play with, just go for damage on this stock, and then once you finally die, you're like, all right, now I'll try. Yeah. You right, know what right. I mean? Or you can recover and just... Kill your opponent on the way to recover. Uh, you know, she vanished <laughs> very well designed. I love it. I was going to say, she could, he could have probably just popped Vanish at some point to beat Monkey Flip, to beat just like, like Max said earlier. It's just something that you could just pop every once in a while. It's like a smash had, attack. Yeah, he hadn't used it since game one. So right. I thought it was going to be something like that, but I didn't realize it would actually be a recovery move that Aaron, unfortunately, got his fingers caught in. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. he was just a little too hasty. He's like, all right, I got to do something to take this stock or yeah. at least continue the edge guard and... Yeah, just put his hands in the fire. So, yeah. unfortunately, it's going to be Aaron falling 3-1. He will be. Huh? huh? One day I'll win those. <laughs> <laughs> Void is so good, bruh. Yeah, he's <laughs> filthy. No, I, you guys probably know. Oh, he's he's so annoying to play. Bruh. Oh, we watched. <laughs> we saw. Yeah, yeah we just watched no, that, bro. Well hey, good hustle, Void. though, champ. Yeah, thank yeah. you, bro. That's all I want to say. Uh, good luck in winners, bro. Thank you. Good play, man. You got it, Aaron. Void. What'd it do? This one goes out to everyone who says Sheik does no damage and can't kill. Get Ooh, over it. That's Dang. me. That's the me. haters. I know I still got a lot of bracket left, but stop not looking at what this character can do. I get it. I'm good. But Sheik is the tool. I'm simply the player. There you go. Ooh, a strong endorsement of Sheik from Void. Drop the mic now. You, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, just, you, that, just throw this, it no, on no, the no, floor. No, just, <laughs> so you're saying everybody should play Sheik. Everybody else should try this character. I think in comparison to the typical difficulty of an alt character, Sheik is a little harder. But A I little? Mean, I don't, you don't have to learn that much. I think a lot of Sheiks are just really bad. If I want to be completely honest. But your precision is not something that's just taught bro like let's i guess honest. it's not like yeah but that doesn't like i'm not i'm not Born doing gamer. this with like joker you know <laughs> like my the, the the stuff that she can do in like the areas she can play yeah. is very very specific to her that's like a ki a strength of her right you know right. yeah i think the issue i take with Sheik is that at lower levels of play she just gets outmashed yeah right? you get destroyed yeah but right, like right. uh there's a lot of really simple and in the best way i can phrase it there's a lot of really simple tournament ready tactics yeah. that a lot of sheiks uh just they they're just not good at yet like drag down like combos that. yeah she does really good on the general stage list you know um she can she can keep a lead really well Man. she has a move to force you off of the ledge right she right. has amazing advantage state you ah, know that's that a good shit. point that, that's a good point though like uh, i feel like everyone's just like oh void sheik like he hit me with a fair and he did 80 damage it's like no not really like you're, you're just playing well you're doing like two to three hit confirms that yeah. ko's they're a little harder but like come on a tipper down to the drag down it's up air into it it's not that crazy no. so yeah i mean but kinda... i think in comparison to ult it is right, a little right. crazier yeah. and that's where like the sheik is works hard and blah 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 comes right, from right right but like bro i've just i've played so many other games where things are so much harder like Dragon Ball combos like 20 30 hits, you know, and it's just it's just memorization mm. You just have to put in the work to memorize it and it becomes autopilot like I, I don't yeah. think about my combos I'm yeah. not like actively like yo. I need to get this 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 it's just like all right I hit an F tilt. Let's do the full combo. What am I doing next? It's probably in comparison just to the whole roster, right? Yeah, exactly, got like 80 exactly. characters right, and It's like right. why yeah. would I try this hard on Sheik when I could just like maybe do like a Fox exactly. thing? Exactly. Or then, Joker like, or Mithra yeah. or something. Yeah, My Joker, is Joker's when, in the exact same wheelhouse. people bring it to yeah. me and they're like void Why are you doing that? And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, I mean, I'm succeeding. Like, you don't have to do it. And if you put in work with Sheik, she becomes this good. Yeah. That's just, she's a late game character. Yeah. True. That's true. all there no, is to yeah. it. Yeah. And I think as Ultimate yeah. continues to progress, exactly. she's going to get better and better. Exactly. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Void is going to make it to the winner's bracket tomorrow. Woo hoo. Nicely anybody done, you're scared sir. of? Anybody you're scared of? Quick. I, I'm quick. not scared of anybody in the bracket. Ooh. Oh. No, not, not in like a. I, I've been through so many tournaments at this point, and I know I can compete with the best, so I, I just want to play. No, I hear you. You're gonna, like, he's still young, fun. but he's so veteran and seasoned, like, people forget that. Like, I hear got, you. He doesn't get nervous So anymore. you're going to shit on everybody, and you're not scared, and they all suck. Yes. yes. Thank uh, you. Yep. That's guys, exactly what he said. Smash. That's literally what he said. Gauntlet D is coming up very shortly. Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
after this break.